the nation's unemployment rate tumbled last month to its lowest point since the start of the pandemic. But with so many businesses still struggling to fill critical jobs, is the low unemployment rate really such good news? WDHN's Alex Valdez joins us live in the newsroom now with more. Alex? There are more jobs than there are job seekers right now. The Alabama Department of Labor released a new report that shows the number of ads are up more than 15% than they were last year, which means business, businesses are desperate to get workers through their doors. With over 2,000 jobs available in Houston County alone and about 1,199 individuals collecting unemployment, there aren't enough workers to fill these roles. It's so crucial right now. If anyone has the opportunity to be able to get a job, they need to do it now. The five occupations that need to hire the most workers continue to be in the medical field, retail, customer service, sales reps, and truck drivers. In October, there were close to 15,000 ads in Alabama for those occupations alone, which is a stressful situation because not too long ago, the tables were turned. It was where we had more people who were looking for work than there were jobs available, and that was very heartbreaking as well because, you know, you wanted to help each and every one of them find that successful career, and now we're on the opposite end. Right now, it's a job seekers market, which is why Carr encourages those who are looking to get back or start in the workforce to get out there. She says companies now more than ever are willing to train, hire, and place workers in the field they desire. Experts expect it will be like this until the beginning of next year. We are seeing um, businesses that are willing to take a chance on individuals that they may have been a little bit more selective not to give that opportunity in the past. And so, and, and but to me, I see that as a positive. And right now, since unemployment in Houston County and across the country is low, that just means these organizations are having to get more creative to try to pull more people back into the workforce, like going into neighborhoods and finding out what is keeping potential workers home. We've got to figure out a way to increase our labor force participation rate and find out what are, what are those things that are keeping them from being able to, to take that next step. With more jobs than there are job seekers, Carr tells me organizations like her own have been working hard to fill these critical roles, but she believes it's going to take a lot more time and effort to bring people back into the workforce. Amanda?